All right, now our tale of the tape for this Bantamweight scrap. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC Bantamweight division. Introducing first, flying out of the blue corner, presenting the former UFC Bantamweight champion, Cody Nolan And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the former UFC Bantamweight champion of the world, Davison Donegaro! Figueredo! Ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, Davidson Figueredo, usually a fast starter. Going to be interesting to see how he approaches the early portions of this round here. He is methodical. He can strike and grapple with any man in this division. But this matchup, he believes, provides him a lot of advantages. Let us see how it plays out. Nice job landing another left punch. Garbrandt gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Counters with the left hook. Nicely done there. Oh, and he caught the kick. Body kick now by Garbrandt. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Unable to connect with the right hook. Oh, another stiff jab here. That's about as good as it gets with that weapon. Well, that'll quiet the storm. Shot blocked by Garbrandt. Two minutes have expired off the first round clock. Very nice leg kick there by Cody Garbrandt. Man, has he been masterful on the feet this evening. He's really utilized that jab to perfection. You see the numbers at the bottom of the screen. He might land 100 jabs tonight. Absolutely incredible. Oh, how about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Oh, nice level take. Back to the feet now. Oh, that's good. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. So now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this. Keep going to the well until his opponent... Oh! oh, he is stunned. Drunk driving out there. We'll see if he can recover. He threw that one with all of his power. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Garbrandt's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. He's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight moves are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. Big right hand. Saved by the bell. That's the end of the round. You heard the horn, and it came just as he was stunned by a huge shot right before the end of the round. So, saved by the bell. Back to the stool. 60 seconds with which to recover. We'll see if his corner can keep his head in the fight. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting it over fight. and over to the Ready. head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Well, Garbrandt's boxing looks sharp tonight, DC. You know, his uncle Robert Meese in the corner has got to like what he's seeing out of his nephew tonight. now ladies and gentlemen i think my mother just turned off the tv but every time that area gets targeted that cut is getting worse and closer theoretically to the end of the fight yeah and you know when you got a person like this in front of you, 
that is so good at what they do. When you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something. Because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut. And now, all the blood that's coming from the cut. Well, he's had next to no answers for the body shots here tonight. And now some redness really starting to develop on that side. We're starting to see that. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. You know, the kicks do hurt, right? These big body kicks. Oh, hurt. Oh, beautiful combination to get the knockdown. Carl Grant's blocking well now. Made the adjustment, protecting what is an already damaged nose. Oh, he's bleeding like crazy, champ. The stream is steady. The jab followed by the right hand. Under two minutes now to go in round two. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his... All right, so the referee, yes, is going to step in here. He will call on the doctor to look at that nose that is unrecognizable at this stage of the fight. His nose is broken. Yeah. I mean, it's turned sideways. The blood's pouring, going down into his mouth. It looks like he's having a very difficult time breathing. Crowd getting a little bit restless. Doctor has to tune out that noise, but at least for now, they will allow him to fight on. You ready? You ready? All right, so the ringside position has made his way back to his seat. The referee gets the action back underway. The fans are excited this fight's going to continue. Absolutely. Oh, no! Gets back to his feet! Garbrandt's nose is absolutely mangled at this stage of the fight. I'm no doctor, but I feel pretty convicted in saying that thing is definitely broken, and we might get a ringside physician or a referee to stop this fight here soon. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, blood's in the water. You gotta go and get it. You gotta go find the finish. You cannot let him off the floor. Oh, he's got to hurt badly now. Figueroa goes in for the takedown now. Nice level change, and he gets it. So, showing off the fight IQ there. He was getting tagged on the feet. All right, that is it for that round. Garbrandt's nose is thankful that's the end of the round. Got to be broken. A lot of blood coming out of that nose area. And we'll see if they indeed call on the ringside physician to take a closer look. All right, I'm being told we've got some replays from the previous round, and it appears as though the cut on the bridge of the nose is getting worse by the minute. It's getting worse by the minute, and he's got an opponent in front of him that wants to target it. He wants to hit him on the nose over and over again. I wonder if every time Ready. he gets hit there, the blood goes Ready. down into the mouth, Good. making it difficult to breathe. All right, so some pretty significant adversity here, but the fight is going to continue. The doctor has left, and the ref gets us back on the ref. Gets us right back on the way, and it doesn't seem... Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at 39 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Davis and Donaguerra Figueroa! 
All right, so Davison Figueredo at his devastating best tonight. He is your winner by knockout. Not many small guys have this type of power. Davison Figueredo possesses massive power in both his hands and his feet, and once again shows that tonight with a knockout victory.